Hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon links are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So since it's close to the end of this current year, 2023, figured we'd take a look at this. The subject of where Europe is getting its oil from now. As with any importer of any resource, the source country dynamic changes anyways, even under normal circumstances, let alone the more dramatic circumstances. So I figured we'd take a look at where this stands as of the end of this year, 2023. And when we refer to Europe, we are specifically referring to these countries. So the bulk of Europe, excluding Turkey, Serbia, Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia, obviously. So collectively, Europe, as these countries here, has a total net oil demand of roughly 12 million barrels per day or so in present day. They have very gradually over the last decade and a half or two decades been declining in oil demand by a total of about 1 million barrels per day up to this point. But at present, their oil demand is still about 12 million barrels per day. So where is Europe's 12 million barrels per day coming from as of now, as of the end of 2023? Well, about 25% of it, 3 million barrels per day or so, is coming from Europe itself, is pumped out of oil fields in Europe. Predominantly, most of that 3 million is coming from the North Sea and the Norwegian Sea, with big, strong Norway pumping out about 2 million barrels per day currently, and not as strong UK pumping out about 0 0.8. And then another 0 0.2 or 200,000 barrels per day or so collectively from other European nations that had much less oil to begin with, or some, as in the case of Romania, have effectively depleted what was there. So that's 3 million barrels per day domestically for the continent, leaving 9 million barrels per day that have to come from somewhere else. Well, two of the most immediate sources are 1 million barrels per day or so coming up from Libya, Next to about half a million barrels per day or so coming up from Algeria. From further down south, a bit under a million barrels per day comes up from Nigeria, or about effectively all of Nigeria's exports. And about half a million barrels per day comes up from Angola. Angola producing a little bit over one million and not really consuming much. So half of Angola's oil goes to Europe, the other half goes to China. The direction Kazakhstan's oil goes has now shifted a bit more westward with close to 1 million barrels per day of their output now being sent over to Europe. Iraq is now a decent supplier of Europe with about 1.5 million barrels per day going up to Europe. And right next to them, Saudi Arabia sends out tankers with about the same amounts, about 1.5 million barrels per day. So those two together are another three, bringing you up to 10 out of 12, leaving 2 million barrels per day left which is comprised of about half a million barrels per day sent across the Atlantic from Brazil, about 300,000 barrels per day, or 0 0.3 million barrels per day, sent over and up from the UAE, just under half a million barrels per day still coming from Russia, versus the average of 3 to 4 million barrels per day that came from Russia previously, before the invasion of Ukraine in 2022, obviously. Now Russia's share of Europe's oil supply is down to less than half a million barrels per day, primarily Hungary and Bulgaria. And then the remaining 700,000 barrels per day or so is sorted or mixed. So that is the current arrangements of Europe's oil supply as of the end of 2023. And also then is the end of this video. So thank you everybody for sticking around and watching or listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. I have links to Google Docs in the description, where I've compiled all different kinds of energy and resource data for you to look at at a glance if you want. And of course, a link to my Catch channel will be down there as well. But that's it for me, so may God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.